Hey guys, what's up? Lightbulb Joe here. Today we're going to discuss the 2015 remake of the classic 1980s horror film, The Poltergeist. Uh, Sam Rockwell is the only name I actually knew um, from this film, and I love Sam Rockwell. He's great, he's sarcastic, he is wonderful. Um, I'm familiar with him as a as guy from Galaxy Quest, and him screaming about does he uh, does he have a last name? He goes, do I? Do I? And it's just funny. Like, Galaxy Quest is a big thing with my family. We've never talked about that film. we got to talk about that film. But that's, that's where I know Sam Rockwell from. So his voice is very distinct. And he's a great actor. He's a great sarcastic actor. And I absolutely love him. And it was, it was nice seeing emotion in him acting-wise in this particular film. The only other positive thing I can say about this film is the special effects were really good. Um... The CGI was on point because we have modern technology comparatively towards the 1980s film. So this is a this is an example of something that had no need of ever being remade. Like we just talked about recently the new Child's Play, right? The 2019 Child's Play. We didn't actually review the 1980s Child's Play, but we talked about the differences. I talked about why this new one worked why it is specifically a horror comedy and not a horror drama but why it worked why it is better than what was expected right there's been the 80 the uh the brand new halloween that just came out the reboot remake i don't know what to call it a sequel a rebooted sequel pretending all the other halloweens didn't work uh, didn't exist but michael myers and jamie lee uh, curtis's characters are you know still fighting their demons, so to speak. There's been a thousand different, you know, Freddy vs. Jasons. I I'm sorry, Freddy's. There's been a thousand different Jasons. Um, comparatively, those are never the titles of the films. You have the Nightmare on Elm a Nightmare on Elm Street series, and you have uh, Friday the 13th series. So, some horror remakes or reboots work, some don't. Um, we haven't talked about many of those that I just mentioned, but... In regards to this Poltergeist one, the 80s film is classic because it's referenced in a lot of pop culture. Anytime someone is going to say they're here, they don't say they're here. They go, they're here. Or there's something wrong with the TV and they're static. And you put your hand to the TV and go, they're here. Right? Um, there's a meme, you know, circulating right now based off of the 80s Poltergeist where uh, the psychic lady's getting thrown up against the... Uh, the wall and she's screaming Carolyn Carolyn and the meme is something like uh you know when the beat drops but you're busy chasing demons away and then it's just her screaming Carolyn so the the other thing it's that, that's a big reference point you know the character's name is a big big point of this film and they have the little girl's name as Maddie in this film and I mean you're like wait what and like the ghost was possessed I'm, I'm sorry not the ghost the clown was possessed clown toy was possessed by ghosts and you're like wait what and then the tree like literally goes through the house but like through the hallways to get the, the boy whose name is griffin in this movie and you're like wait what and then like like maddie going into the portal was cool like it was nice seeing like in the in the house kind of a thing but it was it was like very upside down strangers things ish which is interesting because this film actually was came out before Stranger Things came out. Stranger Things was 2016. This film is 2015. But, like, I don't know, like, the goo in the portal, like, only they talked about a little bit. Like, Sam Rockwell, like, picking at his face because he thinks he's, like, melting is, like, a big thing in the first movie in the mirror, but, like, he only looks at a little tiny faucet, like, to peel off his face. Like, I don't know, man. Like, some things are just weird. They referenced that this was built on a burial ground because they found a bone, but there was no backyard with a uh, pool and that's like an iconic scene in the first film we have to talk about the first film because they use actual real live bodies not live dead cadavers um which were cheaper to get than making one so then that's why they happened to be swimming with real corpses and the actors would comment on the smell and they were like yeah but they're real and that's why they smell horrifying and there was always like stuff like going wrong like it was always like it was a cursed kind of set and then the little girl who played that uh character she actually wound up dying um after the second one i believe in between filming the third 
again, we'll talk about that at some point, but I just didn't, I wasn't hooked. This is an hour and a half movie, this 2015 remake. It was just useless. Like, what was the point of it? Just to make another remake? And that's the thing. I was talking to the, I was talking to the girls at work about this. Um, and when I say girls, I mean, they're all over the age of, you know, 50. But uh, in, in my design department, it's Joe and, and the girls, as I say. So I was saying from a millennial standpoint, we never asked for any of these remakes. Never once did we say, oh, hey, remake this movie. No, we were always, we were given these remakes and some have worked and some have not worked. So it's always like, you can't blame the millennials for everything because we didn't ask for anything. It was just kind of thrown to us and we're doing the best that we can with what we've been given. There's another meme recently going around that the baby boomer generation is the exact epitome of leaving the last square of toilet paper on the roll and then having the next person have to worry about it. But they only did that with the economy. I mean, th that was funny because it's accurate, but it's still funny. You gotta laugh at the satirical humor, right? Ah, cool. What did you guys think of the 2015 remake of Poltergeist? Were you as not excited about it as I clearly am not? Let's talk about it. Horror. Blood. Jamal, guys.